Have you gotten yourself a Stream Deck, but you don't know which plugins to install in it? Well, look no further because I found three amazing Stream Deck plugins that you should be using if you're not already. Installing Stream Deck plugins is a super simple process. All you have to do is either go to the Stream Deck plugin section, install it there, or you can get the third party ones, which are more advanced and better usually from Discords or something like that. And that's where we are going to get ours from Bar Raider. He's an amazing person that does all these cool Stream Deck plugins that we're going to be checking out. So huge shout out to him. And let me show you which ones we're going to cover today. If you don't know already, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you would like to stop in, say hi and see me play some cool games, link is down in the description below. I would love to see you there. Now let's go over the Stream Deck plugins. So first thing you will have to do is actually find these plugins on Bar Raider's Discord, obviously. So the plugins we're going to be covering today are going to be Spotify, which is super amazing and way more advanced than the regular Spotify plugin that exists. We are going to be showcasing OBS tools, which are, again, more advanced. They have so much more stuff that you can do. And we are going to be covering the Bar Raider Windows tools, which has so many cool features you will see in a second. Again, First thing we'll have to do is go to their Discord, go to Bar Raider's Discord. It will be linked down in the description below. Again, this is not sponsored, not paid. I'm just showcasing you this because I think these are really good and a lot of people don't know about them. So you'll have to go to his Discord. You'll go to roles and you're going to activate the early access role because these are usually the early access ones before they come out the full version. Usually they don't have any bugs. At least I haven't experienced any. If you have, make sure to contact him and get some support out there. But you shouldn't be experiencing any big bugs or anything like that. So in order for us to download these plugins, we will have to go to plugin releases over here. You'll see a bunch of plugins that Bar Raider has to offer. We're looking for Spotify integration. We're looking for window tools and OBS tools, which you will see right up here. So you click on any of these, click right here. It will put you on the message, you click on the download button and it will say potential dangerous download. Don't worry about it. It's just a zip file. It says that for every time you download a zip on Discord, click continue to download and it will download it right here. So now we are going to actually install these plugins. All right. So in order for us to install this plugin, what we'll have to do is unzip this zip file right here by, you know, using WinRAR or WinZip, whatever, just unzip it. You'll see the Stream Deck plugin launcher. So you just have to double click that and it will say, do you want to install this on your Stream Deck? All you have to do is click install and it will install it. I will not do that because I already have it. But all you have to do is just do that for every single plugin you download from the Discord. Once you do it, I will go over and show you why these plugins are so amazing. So first, what we're going to cover is Spotify. Spotify is absolutely amazing. It is way better than the default Stream Deck Spotify plugin. This one can do so much more. It is so advanced and so good. So in order for you to get this Spotify plugin working, what we will have to do is just add one of these buttons to our Stream Deck. Once we do it, the installation pop-up will appear, the wizard. All you have to do is just follow the steps. Keep in mind that you need to have the Spotify premium in order for, it, for this to work. So just follow the steps. It's really simple. You have to go to the developer API, get some keys, paste them in, and you're set. One more thing you have to do is go to this device required over here section and choose your device. If you don't choose your device, it will not work properly. So make sure to choose your device. If you don't see it, click reload, but it will show up one time or another. If you do that, you can choose whatever you want over here, the format to be different, anything that you would like. So if I play any songs right now on Spotify, if I click the play button, you won't hear anything because I muted the sound, but you can see right here that it's actually working. It is going through. And if I press the button again, boom, it stops. It shows you the artist. It shows you anything that you want. It's really, really cool. You can go for the previous song, next song. You can make it, uh, you can change the playback device, which is amazing because I, for example, when I'm off stream, I like to uh, play the music on speakers. When I'm on stream, I listen to it on my headphones, obviously. So you can go right here, change playback device, and then basically make it so if you click on this button, it will change it to your speakers or your headphones. And you can go vice versa 
once you end the stream or I don't know what you're doing. If you're trying to switch devices back and forth, this is really, really good too. There's a bunch more that you can do as well. Set some specific volumes, uh, volume mute and unmute, and a bunch of other stuff in the Spotify Bar Raider plugin. As I said, again, it's way more advanced than the normal one, and that's why there's just a no-brainer to use the basic one. Second plugin that we're going to be covering is called OBS Tools. Like I said, it's really easy to install them, really easy to set up. Once you do it, you have so much that you can set up over here that you can have on your stream deck right here. So you can have the browser source, the custom ones. You know, you can click the browser source to enable and disable. You can see your CPU usage, for example, on your, uh, you know, on your stream deck when you're playing and when you're streaming to see how much CPU you're actually using or how much you're not using. You have your drop frames, for example, you can check. You can do the hotkey triggers, the next scene, all of that stuff. Everything is over here. I don't use the normal OBS or the Stream Elements one. I use everything with the OBS tools from Bar Raider just because I can have so much more, especially with these image ones and hotkey triggers where you can have, you know, specific memes show up on screen when you press the button, some sounds or whatever. Whatever you want to do, you can do it with this plugin. And one more thing that is great about this plugin, you can just slap it onto the multi-key action from Elgato itself and then have it, for example, if you click one button, it turns on all the lights, it opens OBS, it switches to the specific profile for streaming, it switches to the specific uh, scene for streaming, everything is done automatically through that one multi-action button if you want to set it up. And then the third plugin that we have is called Win Tools, aka Windows Tools. This is the one that I use the most and it's so good because I can choose the app audio mixer and the app playback device over here. So what you can do with this, you can switch your playback device for a specific app. Like I said, for Spotify, you can use the Spotify itself. But for example, for Chrome, you can have it play only for your one device, for your headphones, for example. But everything else, play in your speakers, vice versa, switch it up. You can do so much more over here. You can change the whole, you know, audio device uh, playback to the to one specific one default audio device you can see your IP if you want with one button as well I'm not going to show that obviously you can see your drive info to see you know how much you're using your your drive if it's being overused or not you can do the bluetooth wi-fi toggle which is one of the better features as well if you want to plug your uh, wireless controller for example which is what I do sometimes when I play controller games I just turn on bluetooth with this one button I go use my controller and it automatically connects via Bluetooth. I don't have to go to Windows. I don't have to turn on manually. It's just one simple button and it works. There's so much more as well you can do with the specific, uh, you know, copies. You can lock the computer via one button. You can ping the, you can see your ping right here by using this one. So if you choose google.com over here, if you click save, it will basically ping that website and it will show you your ping uh, to it. So you can use whatever other website you want, for example, Facebook, I don't know, it doesn't matter. And it will ping that website and it will tell you what ping you have. Right now I have 25 ping, pretty decent, now it's 78. It's like going back and forth, but pinging the website so you can see the live ping if you want to play some games or something like that as well. You can disable notifications on Windows, for example, the multi-clip, you know, you have the uptime counter for your PC, how long your PC has been turned on mine has been on for almost seven hours right now and there's so much more that you can do with these plugins so if you haven't already gotten them make sure to download them and set them up the way you want there's just so much room for activities it is crazy i really hope this video helped you if it did make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe there are so many plugins that are super low-key and a lot of people don't know about them so if you do want me to cover them make sure to let me know down in the comments below and again if you don't know i do stream on twitch every monday wednesday friday Link is down in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.